Hello and welcome to my F124 driver crow mode here today for part 13 for the Canadian Grand Prix coming off the back of the Monaco Grand Prix last time out. But let's go then to qualifying ahead of the Canadian Grand Prix. So into the hairpin, this is our second run in qualifying. Our first run was awful, so we've gone again and you can see we are 2.2 seconds up on our first lap time. We've all been quick round Canada. I'm hoping it's the same on this year's game. Into the final chicane. We have a little bit of a wobble. And now up to the line. We're going to cross it. And it's going to put us P3. What a lap that is. As we skip on to the end of qualifying. We've gone purple in the first sector. We've set a personal best. In the middle sector, we found another six tenths of a second on this lap. We've dropped P5, pretty much done had another slide. That's lost us a bit of time, but we're going to come up to the line and it's going to be on the front row. Large stars on pole. We are going to be starting P2. Let's go to the race. We're back once again beside the St. Lawrence River here in Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. The event first moved to a variant of this track back in 1978. It was won by none other than Gilles Villeneuve, the first Canadian to ever win his home race and in whose honour the circuit would be renamed. 2.7 mile circuit peaking at around 190 miles per hour, two DRS zones, 14 turns, tight corners, a narrow track and the famous Wall of Champions. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. A fantastic effort from Lance Stroll yesterday and it's put him on pole and Brown completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Leclerc, Norris, Hamilton, Russell, Perez, Bottas, Joe, Albon, Gasly, Sonoda, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Ocon, and Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Welcome to the commentary box. I'm Alex Jakes. Alongside us for this one is Naomi Schiff. Things seem comfortable, they seem stable right now. That's a positive, but do they need to be pushed to the next level. Absolutely. We're certainly seeing a driver that feels a lot more comfortable and confident within the team. And that comes from that stability and being settled into what we can now see as a clear role within the team. It's so important for a driver to know where they stand because sometimes when you don't know exactly where you stand, you can easily overdrive or even put too much pressure on yourself. So I think they'll be able to focus on the smaller details during the race today. Here we go then, the formation lap gets underway and the excitement here is building as we near ever closer to the start of the race. Which team will come out on top? Who's got their strategies right for today's race? Well, we'll soon find out. So as all the cars reform the grid, the drivers will be hoping to get a strong start. They'll want to earn some valuable points from today's race, with final communications being done with their race engineers, ensuring their planned strategies are all in place. So we started on pole in Monaco, we went on to win. Can we do it again here in Canada? We're racing, it's a good start by Lance Stroll. We haven't got the best of starts, but Carlos Sainz has. He's ahead of us and into P2. We're going to have to try and hold it around the outside. Sainz gets pinned on the pole a bit, we have to back out. But most importantly, we take our P2 back and we've kept Sainz behind. As we go now into the second chicane, Lance Stroll started to get away, he had a big tank slapper coming out of the chicane. That's put Carlos Sainz back on us as we go into the next chicane. 
Now it's trying to, starting to pull away a little bit on this open lap. Here comes Carlos Santa, he's got a great launch out to that corner. He's getting closer and closer. He's nearly at the back of us and he's had to back out of it. We have planted that car in the middle of the track. And he's getting closer and closer. Is he going to think about it to the outside of the hairpin? We shut the door again into the hairpin. Now it's just about getting a good exit. It's at the end of lap three. And we've got on the back of Lance Strolls. Can it find a way past? Carlos Sainz couldn't really get close enough to us. As we go into that chicane, we can do every good exit here. As we go into that chicane, Lance Strolls pulled a little bit here. If we go out of this chicane, we have a little bit of a slide. We're still sliding, we've actually tapped the wall nearly. Here comes Carlos Sainz now. Up the inside, he's more alongside his here than he was at the start. We're going to hold it around the outside, but we've gone deep again. There's more contact on that rear left tyre. Science has hit us, it's tyre wall to tyre wall. Now we're on the inside, there's a bit of a train starting to form behind us. Science is trying to go around the outside of us at the hairpin. We keep them behind, but Science has got a great exit off the hairpin. Now we have the DRS as well. We're going to tuck into a slipstream. But that DRS is keeping it well ahead of us. But we're going to break later and go around the outside at the final chicane on the track. And keep him behind, but he's going to have DRS again. He's going to the outside, he's going to try and get us again. Round the outside of turn one. That turns to the inside line for turn two. We're going to hold it round the outside, but Carlos Sainz is finally found a way through on us and we've dropped then to P3 but we've found a way to get back up the inside of him on lap 5 we're going to try and hold it around the outside Lance Strong's disappeared in the lead as he tries to get his first win in Formula 1 we're trying to go around the outside again off Carlos Sainz we now have the inside line Carlos Sainz doing a great job defending we just can't find a way past and now we started to pull out a little bit we will have DRS though as we start to get towards the final chicane we're getting closer and closer to him we're going to try and set him up for the move at turn one as now we head down the pit straight we are getting closer and closer we're going to go for a look up the inside but the sign slams the door shut we have a bit of a wobble there as we try and get out of that corner and Carlos Sainz now has started to pull away his our tyres did start to go off a little bit here around lap 8 and now we're left defending the McLaren of Oscar Piastri who's all over the back of us now Lance Stroll is gone, Carlos Sainz is gone Piastri's going to go for a look down the inside of the head but he's too far back but he might be done here by Max Verstappen round the outside of the hairpin they're both side by side here has Max got the job done? I think he's just got his nose ahead but Piastri is going to have DRS on us they've both got DRS's in fact they're side by side Max has done a worldy move round the outside of about three cars there Alonso's got through as well on Piastri we've kept him behind but Max Verstappen there has got two of us in the space of two corners we've ran a bit wide now coming out of the chicane we were struggling so much to get out of this chicane and that's put us under pressure by Fernando Alonso Aston Martin on for a good result here it's still a long way to go though but but up front Lance is gone Sainz is gone so has Verstappen and now we're fighting Fernando Alonso Alonso is going to do us so around the outside at the final chicane we have a little wobble can we get back past Alonso here as we're getting a bit closer to him but we're too far back and now here this comes the chicane again we just couldn't get off of it there's a bit of a trolley train starting to form behind us now as to the outside goes Oscar Piastri has he got us now to the outside we're going to show him the door in the background tries to clear now it's buying up and you can see the state of the trolley train behind us as Piastri is going to go to the inside of us is this it for us? Our battle with Piastri. We hold him on the outside. And Piastri has to stay behind for now. But he's going to go for it up the inside. 
into the hairpin. He's actually left defending Charles Leclerc now. Leclerc's trying to go around the outside. He's trying to do the Verstappen move, but Piastri sees it coming. They're both side by side now. They're both going to have DRS. Can Leclerc get the job done? Can he repeat the Verstappen move around the outside? He can. He can. Charles Leclerc gets past Oscar Piastri. Piastri's going to have him back here, maybe. Going down into turn one, but he couldn't. Now going into this chicane once again. We've made a mistake. Leclerc does us round the outside. I'll give him that one. That is a great move. But he's going to be out for if he thinks he's getting away with it. But to the inside, Piastri tries to get the job done. He's really come under pressure now by his teammate as the Trilly train is building up behind us. I don't know whether we've got some damage or something. Maybe we've got damage from when he tapped the wall. Battle in sight. And then he hit us as we've had a big moment there. But the rear tyres were gone. I don't know whether we had some floor damage. But we've just got no pace at this stage of the Grand Prix. There's also rain coming towards the end potentially. As Lando goes for the move on Piastri. Has he got the job done? No. But everyone in front of us has just disappeared. And at this chicane again, we just couldn't get off this corner at all. And now here comes Piastri to the inside. He's determined to get past us, but he's really destroying his race, really, at this stage. As Leclerc has gone, is Piastri close enough now? But he's going to come under pressure by his teammate round the outside tries to go Lando Norris has Lando got the job done on Piastri he has just but the two McLaren's are still side by side as we head towards the final chicane on the track he's getting closer and closer can Lando do it he can Piastri's lost another place in this race he's going backwards just like us but more thanks to us as Lando nearly goes into the back of us there as that was a bit of a late lunge by us to try and block him off. Lap 14, we're just struggling to get out of every single corner on this racetrack. These rear tyres had given up pretty much. As to the inside goes Lando Norris, we hold him around the outside. It's Piastri's feisty enough to try and re overtake his teammates as we head into the hairpin. Is now that's Lando. Lando's going to the inside, but Piastri, Piastri's trying to do him round the outside. Piastri just wants to get in front of his teammate again, and does really. You can see how everyone's disappeared up the road. Leclerc can barely be seen now, but Piastri has he got his teammate back going into the final chicane? What McLaren's going to give up? Piastri has to give up. Lando keeps the position behind us in P6. And now here comes Lando on the back of us. Piastri going for it again on his teammate round the outside. Now has the inside line. Has he got the job done here? It looks like Lando has got the exit as we head down into the chicane. Lando has kept him behind. Lap 15 now we go into the final chicane. And Lando Norris continues on and boxes. Is he going to try and undercut us here? It looks like he is. Can we though? make this overcut work it's going to be risky for what our pace is but as we go on to lap 16 everyone pretty much behind us is in and Lando's it and Alvon's in as well no but this could cost us here because everyone's so bunched up behind us because of the pace and he is he's gonna hold us up it's what it's just like what happened back in Imola we've also lost out to Piastri and the Red Bull there of Sergio Perez it's all gone to pot in the pit lane we here right as we had an issue with the right rear you may have seen and it's all gone wrong really we've continued to drop like a stone you can see how far up the road Piastri is he's actually been beaten out by a Mercedes as well can we get past Perez now though as we skip on this is what Albon's on board look like we may have been all right if we hadn't had that pit stop issue but Albon's race has been destroyed by us a bit like what ours was back in Imola but now we're coming under pressure from Kevin Magnussen we just haven't got the pace today 
We started on the front row, that feels like a distant breath memory now in this race Magnussen does his round the outside Ocon tried to get us as well but we've got some pace on these hard tyres we started to pull away from those behind and we've done Magnussen big time round the outside but we're into P11 now after fighting for really P2 on the opening lap it's all going wrong but on lap 20 of 35 the rain has started to come down you can see it on the camera but how heavy is this rain going to get is it going to be like Imola where we have to go on to the inters or is it just going to be a quick shower as Magnussen tries to go to the outside of us like everyone's trying to do in this race here there's still a bit of a train behind us more broken up a bit now Magnussen though stays behind Joe has found a way past Ocon so he's behind Magnussen now as those in front were just getting away we were just having a lovely time really defending in p5 but as we three laps later lap 23 the tires were struggling the track was so slippy as magnuson goes to the inside we just about get the car slowed down for the hairpin out of the hairpin now and we just couldn't break away but here comes joe now can he find a way past Magnussen, he's going to go to the outside, he's had a big wobble, he's nearly lost it into the final chicane, now we sideways nearly, completely drop it, and Magnussen is through on us, we're going to be double teamed here, we've lost out to Magnussen, we may lose out to Joe, we have lost out to Joe, now it's about the exit, can we re overtake Joe here, Magnussen looks to have gone, can we get him back down the inside? We've managed to stick with Joe here, just about, but they are quite far up the road. But here comes Joe on the back of Magnussen to go round the outside of Kevin Magnussen. The rain is getting heavier. It is definitely on the verge of the Inters. As now we're on the back again, that little battle, we're going to send it late down the inside of Magnussen. That's now going to give us the outside line. Who can find the traction? Can we find the traction? We can. We're back past Magnussen. Can we get back past Joe? We were struggling now so much to get the car out of the corners. We've been struggling here anyway all race. And the, this rain definitely isn't helping. The, the rain is coming down even harder now. The rain's going to keep getting heavier for the next 15 minutes at least. It's now... 15 minutes worth of rain is basically going to rain to the end of the race says Mark as you can see they're spraying out right we're no longer sure that these tyres are the right ones it might be time to come in and change Mark thinks these aren't the right tyres I very much agree with him and we're out of the points so what have we realistically got to lose in this race so we are going to box to put on the inters Hopefully they are the way to go and it's another pit stop blender then on the front right wouldn't come off. A a we need to sort this out. We're having salvage pit stops the at the start of this season. No but will these inters be quick enough to get us back on the pack of everyone? Will they have the box for inters so late on in this race? And we did start to catch but it wasn't quite inters, it was very much on the line. You can see those red tyre temperatures are screaming now. We just couldn't get out the corners. It wasn't inters, it was right on the verge. But we've committed now, so we've just got to keep going. But up front, Lance Stroll will give it to him. He has led pretty much every single lap. He was denied in 2020 in Turkey, but finally Lance Stroll can call himself a race winner and what a place to do it on home soil. Max Verstappen comes home for P2, Sainz will finish on the final step of the podium, our rear tyres are screaming. It's been an awful day for us as we finish stone dead last. So that's it then for another magnificent Canadian Grand Prix and they have hung on to take a sublime victory here today. 
such an important victory at this stage of the season. Any points you can achieve to go towards the table is really going to mean a lot to the team. So well done as they prepare for the end of the season. Aston Martin's performance today has shown that they can be competitive with the biggest names in the sport. They're making their way out onto the podium now as we speak, and the reaction from the crowd must be incredibly uplifting for them. So that's been your Canadian Grand Prix won by Lance Stroll on home soil for his first ever win in Formula 1. Well done to him. It was a great drive by Max Verstappen to get P2. Carlos Sainz just hung on for P3, Leclerc P4 and Fernando Alonso makes it a decent day for Aston Martin finishing in the top 5. But for us... It's been an awful weekend, it's the first time we haven't scored points in this debut season of ours. We finished stone dead last after starting P2 and on the front row. Not only did we really ruin our own race with the pit stop, we ruined Albon's race in the middle part with the double stack not working out so it's been an awful weekend for us which was so good last time out in Monaco when we got our first win Albon finishing P18 and Hulkenberg in between both of us in P19 in terms of the drivers championship Max Verstappen leads it by 46 points over Charles Leclerc who jumped Lewis Hamilton again for P2 P4 is Fernando Alonso he's had a good little spur up the order after today's results and then Sergio Perez moves up so does Carlos Sainz George Russell after leading the championship after the first round after winning in Melbourne nothing's gone right for him since he's dropped all the way down to P7 in the drivers world championship we though are still P10 Albon is still P9 and there's still a handful of drivers still yet to score and it's Nico Hulkenberg who is at the bottom of the pile in his heart. In terms of the constructors now and Red Bull continue to extend their lead the gap now 49 points then it is Mercedes P3, Aston Martin P4, McLaren round out the top five in the constructors we are six just five points off of McLaren and then there's still three teams still yet to score that being Alpine, RB and Haas. Before we end the episode then Alpine have decided to get in contact with our agent and offer us a contract for next season and I saw that happen and I thought absolutely not. Who wants to drive for Alpine at the minute? The team is in pieces so we have very much declined that one and told them to stick it but that's been then this episode and the canadian grand prix it had so much potential at the start starting on the front row it just wasn't to be we dropped like a stone we definitely had some sort of damage there was some wear on the engine so that didn't help either it's not the best of form to go into silverstone our home grand prix next and i'll see you then goodbye